Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to create a table of contents in pages on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Need to know how to create a table of contents in pages? There is an easy way to do this on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. There are plenty of situations where a table of contents can be crucial, if not absolutely necessary. You could be in a professional or academic setting. Maybe you're simply working on your latest and greatest novel. Being able to create a talk in pages can be incredibly useful. Fortunately, Apple's word processing app is up for the task and does so with style and flair. A table of contents is much like the table of contents you would see at the beginning of a book, manuscript, or academic paper. Your typical talk is going to provide a list of chapters or headers that will take users to specific sections of a text. This makes a document more accessible for readers as they are able to quickly navigate to specific sections. However, the Tao C you will find in Pages is more advanced than the one you would find in print. For those using Pages on iPhone, virtually all of the features available on the desktop version are also available in the mobile version, including the ability to add a table of contents. When you need to create a table of contents in Pages on Mac, it's actually really simple. Click the View button in the top right corner and select Table of Contents. This will show you the talk that you have created. From here, click the Format button. Looks like a paintbrush. You can change the paragraph styles by selecting the checkboxes next to each style that you want to include. You can also change the indentation styles by using the indent or outdent buttons. Insert the table of contents directly into the document by clicking Insert Table of Contents at the bottom left corner of the Pages app. You can also add a talk to a specific section by going to Insert and Table of Contents a section. You will only receive entries from sections you are inserting the talk. If you want to add a table of contents for another table of contents, you can go to Insert and Table of Contents to Next Occurrence. Again, once you have your paragraph styles properly set up, you can begin creating a table of contents page within Pages on your iPhone. Tap the More icon, three dots, and select View Options, then enable Navigator and select Done. Then, tap the Page Number button which appears at the bottom of the screen. Select Table of Contents when the window opens. From here, you are also able to modify your new talk. All you need to do is tap Edit in the top right corner within Talk. You will then be able to change and choose which paragraph styles are included via the circles next to each paragraph style. You can also change the indentation style of entries within your talk. All you need to do is tap the outdent or indent button that is to the right of a chosen selected style. Tap Done when you are finished. Just like with an iPhone, the first thing is to remember that you need to create paragraph styles, as Pages will use these to help assemble your talk. On iPad, you only need to select the paintbrush and then select Style to choose a header that will act as the parts of your talk. Whenever writing an extensive work, including blog post content, an academic essay, or a 347-page book covering your love for Apple products, a table of contents can be critical. Giving users the ability to easily navigate your work not only makes your work more approachable and readable, but it also adds a dash of credence as well. The current community of academia may also expect a talk with your writing, making it essential in certain situations. There are a lot of reasons to include a table of contents with your writing, especially if it is particularly long. Your eventual readers will appreciate the effort. Additionally, if this video helped your writing in any way, let us know in the comments. Remember that adding a talk not only helps approve readability, but can also make the document more accessible. Naturally, you can also take the skills you've learned here and use them within other word processors, as many typically follow the same rules. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.